Hello, good morning, student. So, anybody here is on the line? Okay, can you reply me that you can see me and also you can listen me or not? Okay, hello, good morning. Okay, good morning to my five uh five A one and also five A two student. Are you here? We only got seven watching now. Okay. Hello, Jala, Elaine. Good morning. Okay, hi. Okay, good morning, eh? Uh, Jun. Okay, so, uh, I think this one is a uh, Kailing, is it? Okay, so, uh, we start the lesson. That's a two point four. Can T uh, okay, uh, so can see me, uh? Okay, thank you, uh. Okay, so from here, I want to continue my 2.4. There's a food production, the technology. So this one is a more of the knowledge. Lah. I think this all thing you also know already. So we just go to recall back. Okay, after that, we got to give you the exercise to do it. Okay, let's see what is the food production technology. Okay, morning. Eh? Okay, so this one is um, the measure used in the food production technology, including. Okay, let's see what we need to learn from today. First one, we need to know how to increasing the food quality. Okay, the some of the certain method we need to do to increase the food quality. Okay, number two, you can increase the quantity of the food production. Not only quality, you also need to increase for the quantity. Okay, number three, you need to producing and also using the quality bricks. So that means you need to increase the quality bricks some more. And the last one, using the various type of the modern technology. So this thing can be helped to increase the quality and also quantity by using the modern technology. Okay, now we go through to see one by one what modern technology we need to use. Okay, so we continue. Okay, so this one is from your textbook also got. Uh. Okay, you can see the way how to go to increase the quality and also quantity of the national food production. Okay, first one, they separate by how many? Uh, separate by six type. Okay, the way how to increase. First one, they use the modern technology. Okay, number two, they're using the education, the guidance for the farmer. Okay, let them get the knowledge how to increase the uh, the quality and quantity by using the new technology. Okay, after that, they do the research and also development. Okay, optimum use of the land and also water resources. Okay, we need to optimum to use it, don't waste it. Okay, efficient, efficient land management, how you go to manage the land. Okay, and the last one is use of quantity, uh, quality of the breed. Okay, how to make it become more quality. Okay, so this all thing we go to discuss lah for the six way how to increase the quantity and also the quality. Yeah. Okay, first one they say use of quality of the breed. We see what is that lah. Okay, first one this one is a tenera oil pump. Okay, this one is full at the Malaysia. Okay, tenera oil pump yield more fruits with the larger kernel. So they can make the inside, they want the white color, we call kernel. Uh, make it become thicker and larger because inside the white color, this one can provide more of the quality oil. Okay, compare the outside, the yellow color one. So this one, they can produce uh, with the larger kernel, thicker of the pulp and also thinner shell and higher oil content. Okay, and they can produce more of the higher oil content and also quality. So how to make it continuous to produce the same products? So they will teach, okay, using the um, guidance for the farmer, how to continue to produce the same products, okay? Don't every time using different, different types. So that means the quality will not confirm. So from here, this one is the first one. Okay, number two about the star fruit. Okay, this one is a pintang mass star fruit. From the master muddy, there's a golden yellow sweet and also crunchy. So they want to maintain, maintain the food quality. So that means they need to do the quality breed. And the last one should be the papaya. This all from Malaysia one. Okay, escotica papaya. There's a big and also taste sweet. Okay, because so many type papaya is it? But when you find it, one type is a, a better quality. So we need to continuous. 
So this all is how they go to increase the quality of the bridge. Okay, then we go to the second part. Okay, this one is a Marfrawa cow. Okay, a hybrid daily cow that produces a lot of the milk and can be adapted to tropical area. So this one is a, another type. So you find it they can produce more of a lot of the milk and quality. So we need to continuous. So that means they want to train how to continuous the quality become to get the same uh, products. Okay, another one. This one just example only. We got so many examples. Eh? So another one should be the Akka Putra chicken. Okay, this one is a hybrid chicken that can grow rapidly and also has the same meat texture as of the kampong chicken. That means they find the kampong chicken is better, is it? But not enough. Okay, the quantity is not enough. So that's why they're going to find it hybrid chicken. They can grow rapidly. After that, also same meat structure as the kampong chicken. So this one is what they go and find the new products. Can be represent the old products. Okay, so this one, first round, they go to use the quality breed. Okay, number two. Okay, characteristic of the quality breeds, we're going to see what is the characteristic. Okay, the quality plants and the livestock breeds are obtained through the cloning technique. They're using the cloning techniques. So that means the crossbreeding, genetic engineering, and also the mutagenesis for the technology. So that means they want to clone. Okay, from the first one, the original, they clone another one. The parents produce the son or daughter. It's almost same like the parents. Okay, they don't want the original go to plant. They want to straightforward do the cloning. So I can make sure, okay, my uh, my result, my production must same like the original. So that's why they do the sum of the process. First one is the cloning techniques. After that, they do the crossbreeding. Then do the genetic engineering. And also the last one, mutagenesis of the technology. So this one is what technique they're going to use. To maintain the quality breeds. Okay. So then we go to the next part. Okay. Some is a certain of the characteristic of the quality of the breed. Let's see the example. Okay. If you cannot see, I go to zoom. Huh? Okay. I go to zoom. Okay. The meat. Okay. The milk, the meat and the fruit higher quality. Okay. Then they say easy and low cost maintenance. Okay, another one, high resistant to the uh, diseases, cat pets, and also the extreme weather. That means they can, uh, they can resistant to all these things. That means if you can uh, avoid this all thing happen, so that means you can get more quantity products. Okay, so this one's a characteristic by using the quality of the breeds. Grow and mature rapidly. So important, I want it to uh, grow faster and also produce more. Okay, this one is what they want to control. And the last one is a high yield. That means the quantity they produce is more as one time. So this one is a characteristic. We do the quality of the bricks. Okay, then we continue to the next. Okay, now we're going to see use the modern technology. What modern technology we go to use? Okay, first one, modern technology we apply as a increase the quality and also quantity of the food production. Important why we're using modern technology because we want to use increase the quality and also quantity. Okay, this one is important. Okay, so we're going to see some example here. Okay, this one is a one gliding machine and also liquid filling machine. Speed up the process and manufacturing of the food. So before that, we're using the workers, is it? Workers go to fill in all the thing, do the all the um the factory works. But now they will using the machine to represent the uh, workers. So that means if we using the machine, first one we know sure very fast. Okay, number two, the quality we standard. Okay, become more standard. If we using the workers, maybe not standard. So from here they are using the machine to ganti. Okay, to represent the workers. Okay, to do the processing food. Okay, processing on and also the manufacturing of the food. Okay, number two, they're using the cloning. Cloning and also retain the good characteristic in crop and also livestock breeds. So that means they're using, make sure the genetic, the, the generation to come out 
Then maybe the after the parents, they got doctor and son, they produce the product exactly same like the original. So that's why we know the starting one is a good quality. So the next one also continuous produce the good quality of the products. So this one we call chronic. Okay, number two. You still got another one, biotechnology. Uh, so many students now, they go to study this one field in the university. There's a, another field that can increase our uh, plantation or the quality of the food. Okay, this one is a biotechnology such as an embryo transfer. Okay, cloning and also genetic engineering is used to increase the quality and quantity of the food. Okay, they just do the uh, experiment. They need to find out what situation can be make it become more uh, effect, effect, effective, okay? So the student can be learned uh, from this one. It's normally talking about the chemical. Okay, then we go to the plantation. They're using the machining, okay? Then such as the traitor, the bulldozer, and also the harvesters, they speed up the rate of the growth of planting and also the harvesting so they're using the uh, machine this one help to do the plantation okay then the last one you can see this one diagram they use the drone to spray the pet pesticide so that means you no need using the workers one by one go to spread okay it can save the time and also reduce the labor cost okay this one is all new technology we go to use for the plantation and also you want to increase the products and also the quality so that's why they changes all the method so these all thing what we need to do we need to teach teach the and also guide for the farmers okay because some of the farmers they're still using the old pattern old style to do the plantation so this all thing we need to get the in uh, the knowledge let them to know what's the new technology. After that, the product can be more efficient to get the income. Okay. So from here, we go through. Okay. Education. Okay. Just now is the technology we go to introduce already. Now it's the education and guidance for the farmers. Okay. So from here, this one is an example diagram. Okay. From your textbook also. Okay. This one is a guidance. Okay. The various of the agency. Now, they, and also the institution, they provided the education and guidance. Okay, not only uh, give the, uh, the, the products only. They want to guide. Okay, maybe they give one machine. They want to guide them how to use it and how come the product, how this one machine can help to increase the products. So, that means they need to intro. Okay, after intro, they need to guide them how to use Okay, to the farmer to increase their knowledge and also the skill in the agriculture field in order to increase the quality and quantity of the national food production. Okay, so this one is a one of the things we need to do, how to increase our quality of the breeds. So this one is the second one. Huh? First one is the technology for the modern technology. Number two, we do the uh, guidance. Okay, give the guidance and also the education for the farmers. Okay, then we go to number three. Number three is a research. You need to do some research and also development. So from here, they got some of the products. You can see here, to increase the food quality and quantity of the food, production is continuously. Okay, conduct a worldwide, uh, the worldwide to overcome the global food shortage. So example, the package here, you can see the pineapple, you can see the durians. Okay, durian not only the fruit, Okay, you can take uh, durian. Okay, maybe the durian not every year got is it? Sometimes it's a normally it's a June and also December. So that means the durian not only for just fruit you open then you go to eat no, but the food but the durian we can do some production. You see they can produce the cake, they can produce the ice cream, they can produce the biscuit. So this all thing is a, another new production. They do some research and also development to create the new products. So that's why we can make this all thing go until the world. Okay, not only Malaysia. Okay, we know Malaysia got durians. Only durians. So we can create not only for durian as a food, they can product to another field. Okay, example for pineapple. Pineapple also same. They can product to the uh, other field. Example, biscuit. You got pineapple biscuit, pineapple ice cream, okay? Pineapple cake, they also can be produced the others one. 
So this one we call research and develop. So what you need to do, uh, you need to do some um, uh, the investment. Uh, you're going to find it not only for your for for your uh the field got durians only. You know, find the investment maybe the other factory they need to using the durians uh, to do another things. So maybe the good quality one, okay, you sell to the other country, but the another quality, maybe not so good, the quality, you can sell to another factory. They can do another things. So this one we call another investment. Okay, so this one's a one of the things that can increase our economy in Malaysia. Okay, so this one is a research and also development. Okay, next one is way to optimize to use the land and also water resources. Okay, we got land, we got the water, how we go to reuse. So we're going to see the first one, develop the ideal land into the land suitable or for the agriculture and also the livestock activity. Fertilizer the barrel land. Okay, you need to uh, go to change back how to make it become more fertilizer. Okay, develop the abandoned mining pool. Okay, into the area suitable for the fresh water aquaculture activities. Okay, number four, you go to develop the marshland that is easily to be flooded. Okay, by the seawater into the area suitable for marine agriculture, uh, the aquaculture activities. And the last one, you build the dam, okay, and also canal for the agricultural or the livestock. After that, they can experience the water storage. Because sometimes you got the, the weather become hot, not enough water. Okay, if you got the dam, that means they can more easier, okay, easier for the agriculture. They can store some water. Okay, this one is way how to optimize lah. We use the land and also the water resources. Okay, the farming without the soil. Now we got new technology. They no need using the soil. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, example we got aeroponic system. Okay, you see the aeroponic system. They're just using the water. Okay, but the water they never put inside the uh the roots. The roots never put inside the water lah. They're using the spray. Like the mice nozzle, they go to spray some water. <coughs> Sorry, yeah. So from here, you can see the mice nozzle. They can spray some of the water together with some the the air lah. Okay, that lets the roots to be absorbed. Okay, so this one is normally for the small plant. Okay, small plant maybe they no need to too much of the water. Okay, you see the hydroponic system. Okay, hydroponic system is they need the water. Okay, the water they flow. Okay, flow until the the growth tray uh, the tray there. After that, the roots they need to absorb. Okay, absorb the more water. After that, you see the plant become more a little bit bigger. So from here, after that, the nutrients they will continuous to come down. Then the nutrient pumps they will make the water inside the tray here. They're full with the nutrients because they go to replace. So this one is normally for the bigger plants. That means they grow bigger a little bit. They need the nutrients more, is it? So they're using the hydroponics. So the aeroponic maybe they're small. Okay, they're just a small plant. Then we're using this part. So this one is a tool of the technology uh, for planting. they without using the any soil. They're just using the water. Then the inside water, make sure they got nutrients. Okay, now we're going to see the efficient land management. How we go to do the management for the land. Okay, first one, we want to maintain the land fertility. Uh, this one is uh, important. Uh, okay, if not, we cannot grow more plant. Number two, you want to increase the quality of the growth. Yeah, okay, you want to make the plantation become more. And the last one, quantity. One is quality, one is quantity. Okay, then we see some of the example what they do. Okay, so same of the land. Okay, we cannot grow the same plant for the whole year. They need to do the different of the plantation. So from here, maybe one year you do this. Second year, you do another thing. And the third year, you change it. So this one, we call it, you want to make the land become more fertilizer. So you need to do some uh, plantation difference. So from here, the first year, maybe they just plant for tomatoes. 
Okay, so second year they change already, become cabbage. Okay, so that means inside the lab, uh, inside the soil, the different of the microorganism will be produced. So if you every time to plant the same thing, that means the microorganism always the same lah. So that means they want to make the soil become more fertilized. So they need to change, change the type of the plantation. Okay, now the third year maybe they take the egg. Uh, this one the, okay, egg plants. So that means finally they can get the microorganism in the soil. It's a different type bacteria. So that means they can increase the uh, quality of the uh, plantation. Okay, then beside we using this one, we can use another uh, citation how to management for the land. Okay, example, we can using the mixed planting. Okay, maybe one part you plant by the jagung, another part you plant, plant by the cabbage, uh, like this, we combine. Okay, combine to do the plantation. And the last one, they say the terrace of the farming. Okay, you see that one layer by one layer. This one is a land management. You see what's the uh, advantages if you're using the land management like this. Eh? Okay, so from here, I show the advantages. Okay, you see the uh, approach for the efficient land management. The first one is a crop rotation. Is it just like I say rotate to plant? Okay, by planting the different type of the crop for every year, to maintain the nutrient content in the soil. So make sure inside the soil, the content you can be maintained. Don't be stopped. Okay, after one year, then you stop. Okay, or you change another uh, crops. So that means inside, they get the nutrient is a difference. Okay, mixed planting. Okay, this one mixed planting. To maximize the use of the land by planting two or more crops on the same land. So that means after that, after some month, you got two products, three products to come out. So this one is how to maximize the land. Okay, next one is a terrace farming. Terrace farming means by planting the crop in the terrace for the effective agriculture to prevent the soil erosion. So this one is the one to prevent the soil erosion. Okay, because the terrace, they do some, the staircase, it? So the staircase, when the water just flow, they will absorb, all the plant, they will absorb the water, then they will reduce the soil erosion. Okay, now we use the insecticide. Okay, let's see here. To protect the plant from the pets. So from here, we're using the insecticide, is it? So insecticide, the advantage is easy to use to control the population of the pets. Okay, so this one is one of the advantages if we're using insecticides. Okay, number two, we know the disadvantages. Okay, disadvantages means the polluting. Okay, you do some spray at the veggie. One is a polio for the environment. Number two, you increase the pesticide resistant. Okay, so that means the pesticide resistant, uh, then do not to, um, do want to take the uh, veggie, the food. Okay, if the pesticide also do want to, do want to attack the veggie, so that means maybe they got some of the uh, poison. So this one also will be make the human body got poison. Okay, they say they increase the pesticide resistance already. Okay, killing the earthworm. Okay, they not just kill the pesticide. Okay, they also kill the earthworm. Okay, earthworm when they just kill some is a useful microorganism they need uh, for the plantation. But this one you kill together. So that means the useful microorganism in the soil also will be finish okay and the last one they contaminating the land and crop yeah so this one is used in the insecticide what is the advantages what is the disadvantages okay then we go and see the uh, the population of the pets okay so this one is uh, the insecticides lah. so that means this all thing is all the rats the grasshopper and the nail snail lah. This one is a crop pets. So that means they're using the insecticide. They want to prevent, okay, to prevent this all thing, go to attack the plantation. Okay, now we're going to see the biological control. 
Okay, first one, advantages if you're using the biological to control, we can control the pets without the use of the insecticide. We no need to using the uh, the insecticides. After that, we can control. No need to using the chemical things. Okay, number two, we can prevent the presence of the pets with the high pesticide resistant. Okay, prevent the rats, prevent the grasshopper. Okay, if we're using the biological control, later I show you what's the biological control. Huh? That means we're using the natural one. Okay, no need to spray about the chemical things. Okay, everything also got pro and cons. Now we're going to see what is the disadvantages. Huh? Okay, so disadvantages, first one, slow. Lah. We need to need to using the biological control, sure become slow. And also the products and the efficiency is not confirmed. Okay, that's a not confirmed if we're using the biological control. So example, we see what's a biological control here. Okay, first one is a pre-predator, okay, in interaction. Okay, pre-predator interaction. Another one is a parasitic, uh, parasitic sign. Okay, parasit. Okay, so about the parasite, lah, okay, parasitism. Okay, now we go to require through the planning before it can be conducted to prevent the other problems such as the addition of the new pets. Okay, let's see the diagram. What is a pre-predator? Another one should be the parasitism. Okay, this one is an example for the biological control. Okay, this one is a owl hunts rats. Okay, hunt for the rats for food. So that means you can reduce the rats. Lah. So this one we call it as a pre-predator. So that means they see the rat, they will go to catch it. So this one is a pre-predator. Okay, another one is a, okay, this one is a parasitism. This one is, they will stay. Okay, they will stay a day. After that, they go to destroy it. So from here, you can say the lay, okay, they will lay the eggs, the eggs in the butterfly and also destroy them. So that means when they just destroy, that means they never, the butterfly, worms, they never eat the plantation. So this one is a two type. Huh? One is a pre predator straightforward go to catch. This one is go to destroy. They stay at there, after that they go to destroy. So this one we call parasitism. So this one is a biological control. But if we're using the biological control, first one we know uh, more better. Lah. Okay, we don't have any chemical things. But this advantage sure is a slow. Okay, you cannot get perfect for the efficiency. If you're using the uh, pesticide, okay, insecticide, they want to spray all the chemical things that was sure uh, 100%. You can see the result. Okay, but there's a disadvantage for the human being help. Okay, so this one is a biological control. Okay, then we continue go and see the next part. Okay. Now we're going to see these advantages and also the advantages if we're using the biological control. Okay, advantages first, more environmental friendly. Okay, so this one we're using just animals. So this one is more environment. Okay, number two, that does not harm the health of the other organism except the crop pests. Lah. Okay, number three, does not cross about the crop pests to become resistant. And the last one, cheaper. Okay, cheaper. Okay, now we're going to see these advantages. Takes a long time. Okay, long time to control the population of the crop pests. Okay, and also the product will not confirm one. Difficult to predict the result. Okay, so that's why I said difficult to predict. The result of the biological control which involves living organism. Okay, needs more detail and also effective planning and management. And you need to planning, okay, where you want to put, where you want to keep it, okay, how many you need. So this one is a management. And the last one is to describe the balanced ecosystem. If the population of the predator species or the parasite become uncontrollable. So if can, uncontrol, uncontrollable, that means maybe the rats will become less <clears throat> because you morph the owl already. So that means this all thing that can affect the ecosystem. If either one of the things become bigger quantities. If the rats become more, then the owl become rats, uh, become less. This one also one of the problem. So this one is a disadvantage if you're using the biological control. 
So from this one, we sell them to use lah because we cannot hundred percent, uh, to know the results. So some of the plantation they will start to use this orchids. Okay, so. Okay, so our discussion about the um production, food production, uh, of the technology already finished. So remember, some technology we go to use, ah, uh, the modern one. After that, we go to guide us the farmers. Then we using the research development. Then sometimes we using the biological. Ah, uh, this all thing is one of the um of the factor how to increase the quality and also quantities so this one topic just a short only so some of the um the way you need to know okay they when they are just ask the example then you need to give okay today the task <clears throat> just a simple only today task okay i already upload in your google classroom there's a 2.5 today lesson the exercise So you need to fill in the some of the exercise that need to fill in the blank. Some you need to answer it. Okay. So ah uh, today lesson I provided two things only. One this one exercise. Another one one of the short quiz. Okay, the short quiz you need to enter it. After that ah uh, that's a crossword lah. You need to enter that. After that write your answer. Okay. The the short quiz is related with the nitrogen cycle. So maybe you start to open the notes first, open the video clip first before you go to start. Okay, after that they got count about the time ah, uh, they got the time up ah. Uh. So after you finish, then you need to write out your name and also your score in the telegram. Okay, I want to know actually you understand or not. Okay, after that the last one you need to key in the Google form for today attendance. Okay, today attendance no code. Okay, don't have any code. Then you just enter only, okay? So understand ah, uh, everybody. So we got how many? Twenty six only today early morning. Just got twenty six student, but I got two classes. Two classes. How many student? Eighty three class. Ah, eighty three student. I just got twenty six. I don't know you all do want to, ah, uh, do want to see or you all lazy still sleep. I don't know lah. Okay. So thank you for the student early morning to attend my class. Okay. So from here. So my class just finished lah. Okay. So just thank you for your watching. Okay, I already upload. You can see the telegram there. I show you the link already. Okay. So from here, thank you. <coughs> okay, thank you. So you start to do your exercise lah. Okay, bye. <coughs> okay, thank you, Elaine. Thank you, Charla. Thank you, Kaling. Okay. Bye. Okay, no code lah. You just enter your Google form. Okay, thank you, Adrian. Thank you. Yes, Zuki. Thank you. Bye.